Welcome to the course Big Data Analytics. In this lecture, we will discuss about MongoDB installation on Windows operating system. First, from Google, you can search with the keyword MongoDB. Then, you will get various results. Here, you can select mongodb.com. This is the official website of MongoDB. You can click on so then this is the home page you will get here in home page you can click on uh, products in a uh, products you can select uh, mongodb community server in products you can click on mongodb community server then you will get uh, the mongodb community server related information in the right side text boxes let us see so here it is showing the version so whatever the current version before its version you can select the stable version stable version of mongodb then the related operating system so we are installing on windows here ubuntu linux various operating systems are there you can select windows currently we are installing on windows environment then the package uh, it has two formats zip and default msi you can click on uh, default one then click on download so once downloading is over then you have to install how to install step by step we will see here now here you can see bottom it is downloaded so now after downloading click on uh, show in folder then click on uh, right click so in right click uh, click on more options then it is showing the properties the file name with the type size etc details so what is the size of the file downloaded so then you can uh, click on right click then uh, by clicking more options click on more options show more properties here here we are having the option install so simply click on install this is the welcome page of mongodb installation on windows environment you can click on uh, next again you can uh, read and click on next Yeah, here it is showing the license version copyright information you can read and uh, click on accept by scrolling down you can click the checkbox here by the default uh, whichever selected so you can uh, select the same option only default option only you can select So other option means we have to provide the name with the dot dot followed by the db name etc so you can choose default uh, first option only then click on uh, ok then it is showing some dialog box information then uh, click on next Now the installation process started. It takes uh, 20 to 30 minutes time. So here I stopped and uh, resumed the video after the end of the installation. Here you have to make a note before installation in our local computer in C drive we have to create one folder with the name data so again in that subfolder DB so the installation data 
that can be stored default in that directory so before installation make sure you have to create uh, a data folder in that uh, db after installation you can click on uh, that folder in db you can see various uh, install files are stored in that now we are in end of uh, installation process So meanwhile, you can uh, minimize also. So after installation was successful, so on desktop, one icon with MongoDB is created. Whenever you can click on that icon, this is the page you are going to see. So here setup, it is showing the message, completion message, compass message. Now you can see here. A new connection it is showing new connection here uh, bottom it is showing queries etc this is the environment actually this is the GUI environment so we can work using the GUI environment also the MongoDB how to create uh, the queries or a database then how to write the queries etc so but uh, for a better experience we will work out using command prompt so later, uh, if you want, you can practice uh, using this GUI environment also by clicking the icon which was uh, created on our desktop. Okay, here by default, it is showing the existing uh, system-defined databases, database names, collections. In our previous lecture, uh, we demonstrated that terminologies used in RDBMS and equivalent terminologies used in MongoDB. Now the table becomes here collection. Now our installation is over. Now what you have to do? First you can uh, go to the C drive in program files. So let us see MongoDB uh, directory was created. Uh, click on MongoDB in that uh, bin then library so you can copy this path actually we have to set the path so you can click on control L so here the path the current location path is selected you can click on right click copy then where you have to paste so in our computer applications so clear you can search with the keyword env that is environment environment variable there we have to uh, paste our uh, path of the MongoDB. So this is the page of uh, environment variable. You can click on new. So in that uh, create new path. So here you can in the new path you can uh, paste uh, the copied path of MongoDB where it was installed. So already suppose it was there, you can remove the old one, then uh, you can paste the new one. Then uh, click on OK. Now our path is added to the environment variable. Different databases having different procedures for adding the path or creating path. So this is the process uh, of adding the path to the environment uh, variable. Now we have to start uh, our MongoDB database. First, uh, you have to go to the command prompt. So in command prompt, uh, if you want, you can increase uh, the command prompt editor size. You have to zoom in by selecting from the properties. Now, this is the command prompt. Here simply first, you have to start our server mongodb server in our earlier lecture we discussed uh, what is the command mongod whenever you can use mongod so the mongodb server will be started the service of this server you can minimize it don't close this uh, command prompt open another command prompt then you have to start the client so simply you can type mongo, m-o-n-g-o in command prompt. 
now you can see your earlier directory is changed to the prompt symbol